チューチューチューチュー。Choo choo, motherfucker! Oh, sorry, <laughs> that was so loud. Hello, how's it going? How you doing? <sighs> Work, bird. <laughs> Understandable. Blech, work. Gross. How much longer do you have left? Oh, almost finished. Okay, yeah, I figured. Because normally you're like, when I start streaming, you're like within the last hour or two, depending on when I start streaming, and then you're like, oh, I'm packing up to go home. Uh, but how are you doing otherwise? Another 30 minutes? Okay, that's not too long. Bro, it was so cold and wet here today. It was awful. Wait, let me check the let me check out the weather. Also, I just want to say up front we are listening to fucking Disney Princess Jazz and it's Love is an open door. It was on my homepage recommendations, and I was like, okay, we've never listened to this. <laughs> Oh shit, it's cold! And yeah, I see the- oh, it's windy! Ugh, yuck. Is it a little- I mean, it's still cold and windy and rainy, right? Looks like it hasn't, like, stopped. Ow! Oh, I think I- I think I have a little cut on my- I probably scratched myself at some point. Uh. What was I gonna say? As you can see, though, we are indeed back with the Blatty Boys home. Um, there's a couple of things I want to do. I want to, one, I kind of want to redo his desk, actually, now that I, like, think about it. I'm not sure if I really like the shape. I don't really like specifically, like, the little wings it's got going. I almost got blown over. Yeah, I saw. I mean, it said, uh, right now the wind is 48, uh, um, I'm having a stroke. What is the- oh my gosh. Yeah, right now it says it's 30 miles per hour. That's really fast still. Table reference that I wanted to use, by the way, for that new table for blathers, and I don't know where it went. Um, oh my god, I literally screenshot it, and I thought I put it into this folder, but I guess not. Oh no, no, I found it. Here it is. Okay, so it's nothing too major, actually, in terms of in terms of adjustment. Um, it's basically I just don't really like actually. Yeah, okay, so just a couple of things. I don't really like how the, um, these little army things stick out so much. I want it more like here, maybe. Actually, I don't even want the circle on the top. Here's Absinthe Sharp for today. It's gonna be a wash and care when I get home. <laughs> I mean, you have long hair too, if I'm not mis if I if I recall correctly, right? Uh, 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 okay. 
I also don't like how these are like big chunky shelves. I kind of want them to be more legs. Um, so we're gonna, I mean, yeah, do this. At the moment, yeah, I didn't bring a hair tie and it got waved around everywhere. <laughs> Don't you love it when you just your hair turns in when you just turn into like a, a mop, basically? So you just get your hair just gets blown all over the place. Your hair is mopping your face. So the wrong edges are here. It's this. Yo, honestly, this Disney Princess Jazz, I'm kind of enjoying it. <laughs> I was kind of worried that I would. I mean, I like Disney. I do like Disney music. But in the context of jazz, I was a little worried I was gonna click off within the first um, couple of songs, but I'm like, this is nice. Cause like, I don't know about, like, I like jazz, but not, I like more like smooth jazz. I don't like the, the rowdy loud type, yeah. If I had a genie wish, I'd wish that the wind doesn't interact with my hair. Imagine how strange you would look. <laughs> like your hair just like defying all wind physics. It'd be kind of funny. Be a sick party trick too. Be like, yo, watch this. Blast a hair dryer in your face and nothing happened. I need some new hobbies, man. If I think that that's a cool party trick. I'm tired. <laughs> Worth it though. I agree. Yeah, I think it'd be a fun party trick. <laughs> It'd be kind of lame, but it'd be kind of fun. Because it's lame. You know what I'm saying? Y you feel me? How big is this radius? Holy shit, it was huge. I was like literally doing this little hot key shit for like ages and it wasn't really, you know, fixing. Or what well, not fixing, but it wasn't like changing, so. Why is this one edge? Oh yeah, why is this not like two distinct what the heck? Okay, this is super random, but, um... Wait, let me find the one I found today. Um, and I'm thinking, I'm really thinking about purchasing it. But I just want to know if anyone, like, if Nuru, you have experience with chairs like this either. Not, yeah, let me remember to not show my fucking Amazon before it shows my fucking location. <laughs> I really want to get one of these chairs, like standing, uh, stand sitting ergonomic chairs. Because I have an ergonomic, I don't like sitting, honestly. I, I actually kind of like sitting more like I'm almost on a horse, right? Which is why this is really appealing to me. Like, it'll, it'll have like a nice little bump so like my legs can like go around it. <laughs> Streamer docs live on twitch.tv <laughs> Honestly, come put me out of my misery. What?
I've not seen Moana in a while. I should watch it. It's such a good movie. Like, you can truly not watch Moana too many times. Once I get your package, it's all over. <laughs> Death via gummy lollies. Let's fucking go. Um, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so excited. But also, yes, actually, no. I, I I am curious if you have any if you have any experience with like that kind of like like saddle type ergonomic chair. Because what I was looking at also is a little pricey, but like, chair, you know, stuff like, like I'm, I'm not cheap. I'm definitely someone who prefer to buy stuff like more higher quality and then just ha like let it last. I really hate repurchasing stuff. To be really honest, like, um, it's kind of there's like a certain um, it's weird. There's like a certain amount of privilege to buying stuff and then like. Uh, like buying stuff that lasts, right? Because like it's expensive, but because it's expensive, it lasts, so you don't have to buy, spend as much money. So then, because of that, you end up saving more money in the long run. It's weird, guys. Economy is weird. Um, but yeah, for something like chair, I find it like super. Is there two? There is two. Um, I find it like really non-negotiable because right, that's like that's my fucking spine. That's my posture. <laughs> but I don't know. I already have a chair. Like the one I have right now also costs like a hundred dollars. Like it wasn't cheap. So I would feel kind of bad just like buying it and then essentially probably never sitting in this one again because the other one looks so well. Hmm, sitting versus standing. I don't know. Not really. I, when I was in high school, I was super high stools, like sitting and standing were the same thing, but we're so uncomfy. Plastics. Most of us just stood. Interesting. Okay. I mean, because these ones are specifically the ergonomic type, and like these roll, and I think it looked, um, there's even some that have like, uh, at the, like the base of the chair, they rotate a little bit, so like they have a little bit of a swivel mechanism built into the base of the chair, so like you can rotate around, like not actually wheels, like there are some on wheels, but then there's like some that have that little swivel built into like where the chair meets the leg, if that makes sense. Just some thinking about it, but again, it's pricey. It would like the the one that I'm looking at would still be about a hundred bucks, and that's a lot of money. Like that's that is uh, more than like that is one that's like ten days of food. <laughs> Maybe I can sell my current chair too if I would if I kind of truly believe I'd stop using it. I don't think I'd stop using it though. Is the thing because it's still like it's nice to sit on, but I really when standing like it's so frequent that I want to keep standing but um it's pretty yeah yeah it's pretty common for me to want to keep standing uh but then like kind of it's like the weight like uh how do I, how do I say like the weight on my feet like the weight of my body on my feet is like starting to really put a strain on like my heels and stuff but like my back and every other part of me still wants to keep standing if that makes sense yeah I saw the pic I personally like to sit down I walk for like nine minutes I mean that's totally fair I mean <sighs> It's also just like I genuinely have a bit of a, a, a bad back. Like my t lower tailbone like compresses pretty easily. Uh, so I, I actually like even when I walk for nine hours, uh, I tend to still need to stand up. Like only be able to sit for like an hour at a maximum kind of thing. Because sitting for a really long time is actually quite, kind of painful for me. <laughs> Uh, 
Ugh, <sighs> my bad spine, man. I feel kind of bad, because, like, it's not like I ever- nothing- I never really had a spine injury, fortunately. It's just that, like, I don't know. I just kind of, maybe, have a bad spine. Oh, uh, what's her, uh, what was her name again? She 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 died recently. Mulan, the I think the woman who sang for her for um um Lee uh, Lee Coco Coco Lee yeah yeah. Uh, it's a shame. The queen, huh? I don't know who that is. I it was she's the uh, voice from Mulan, I think, in Mandarin. Coco Lee. Oh, she's saying yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's saying a reflection. We're gonna listen to like ten seconds before I get fucking copyrighted. Hey. If I wear a mask, I can't fool the world. Okay, 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 I don't wanna hit <laughs> drum over copyright. <laughs> Speaking of standing, I'm gonna uh, stand on my desk. Wait, what are we talking about? Hello, El Hayana. We're talking about Coco Lee. Because just now, we're listening to Disney Princess Jazz, and just now it was, um, Reflection from Mulan. I actually thought you stopped playing Genshin? Huh? Wait, what does Genshin have to do with Coco Lee? Huh? Huh? I'm so confused now. <laughs> no, nothing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was shook for a second. I was like, wait, is Coco Lee a Genshin character too? I would have, like, screamed. Pinky and Genshin retirement? Fog the retirement house. Just what I forgot to say. Oh, okay, okay. The retirement house is getting full. No, I'm not in Genshin retirement, don't worry. <laughs> I'm really at the sunk cost fallacy phase where I'm just like, I've spent so many t hours playing Genshin that I can't really stop. <laughs> I'm gonna see this shit to the fucking end. I will see <laughs> if they get what happens with the siblings. I will see- I need to know if Paimon's gone! <laughs> of course you can, you can just stop playing- this is true. I mean... I don't not enjoy Genshin. I'll put it that way. I'm 
I did um pull. F I did get the new character because he punched. Just bop. <clears throat> Paimon's gonna sacrifice herself at the end. The only in one time she'll ever be useful in her entire life. <laughs> I <laughs> just like gagged on my water reading that message in her <laughs> Emergency food. Listen. Oh, I think I mentioned this last time when you were here, Elle, but listen, I'm still huffing that hopium. Senora's gonna be playable, okay? <laughs> and that's gonna be the day that I'm gonna be like, yeah. Fuck y'all, non-believers. <laughs> you just wanted to see, yeah, exactly. Nah, 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 bro, nah, bro. She's coming back. She's coming. Don't worry. <laughs> trust, trust. What if I apply for a job at Hoyoverse? Get the job, it, literally all just to, um, like, basically demand they bring Sinora back. <laughs> I'm on secretary, secret. If I'm on secretly, Sinora, never seen them in the same room before. True. I say the chance is about the same as. Oh yo, uh, killing off Paimon. Oh, okay, um, actually wait, never mind, never mind, I will bring this up later, it's not relevant right now. Wouldn't that be so crazy if they did some off chance, they did, and instead of seeing a morning, the majority of people are celebrating because they don't have to be tortured by the annoying voice anymore for 95% of the dialogue. <laughs> Honestly, these days, there's so much dialogue in Genshin, I hit autoplay and go AFK for like 30 minutes, and I come back and it's still playing. dialogue options to stop that so you can't even yeah I'm like this close to just writing a bot to fucking play for me. <laughs> I don't know like I kind of really enjoy their new adventure quest system whatever it is like basically where you can get it you can do dailies by by like playing passively because like I mean I'll be honest I, I actually really enjoy like running around in the world for like 10 minutes a day just like to like turn my brain off and like Ah, oh, I get to see some some night like nice like environmental artwork, blah blah blah. It's honestly like a pretty nice part of like, especially my morning routine, because I like to just like I really like chill mornings. I don't like waking up and then running out the door. I like getting up, doing some exercise, going for a walk or something, having like coffee, and then like so I tend to get up like 
two hours before I even start, like, my day. <laughs> or, like, you know, I wake up two hours early, so... I BRB, going home, be safe! What the fuck? Oh, there's two. Why does this... I always hit Control D by accident, I think. Just by complete mistake. Mistake, why did I say it like that? That was weird. Anyways, actually, Elle, I guess on the topic of Genshin, are you excited for, uh... What's her name? Ah! Ah! Ah, I'm blinking. Uh... Cloud Retainer, right? Because she got leaked a while back, no? I felt like- I feel like you'd- I feel like, uh, sh she's someone you'd be excited for. Playable ping is. Wait, they, uh. They say ping is playable too, kinda sus. I'm not into guilds. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you. Whoa! That means you gotta get. Say wait. Alright, uh, West Worcestershire sauce. I can't pronounce any of these names. <laughs> what is this? A oh, once upon a dream. Name. Uh, we're gonna skip forward a little. I had the entire song wrong. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait. Oh, this is Cinderella. I don't know why, but I thought this was the Pinocchio one for a second. The, the, um... Like, uh, like, uh, uh, and, uh, that one, the, 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 the classic tune, Brain Not Worky. Look, a bot. <laughs> I 
Bye bye. Um, Karina are. I can't pronounce any of these names wrong. Karin. <laughs> I can't pronounce any of these names. <laughs> Hydro Archon, the Harbinger, the chick with the buttons, the sweat to explode, and the Melusi nurse. Eh. Eh. I'm just gonna look her up <laughs> on Google. I know who you're talking about with the first three characters, I just really can't pronounce a lot of their names. Oh, okay, the little one. The one with the uh, Westershire sauce, okay. So is she... I don't know what her deal is. I haven't met her in the story yet. Is she a child or... Also, is she like a... Is she... Okay, so she's a rabbit. Very motherfuckers.
I really like that song. I don't know. I mean, I know it's like a, it's like a, you know, one of them Disney classics, but like, of all of like, you know, like classic, I guess, Disney love songs, I really like, uh, A Whole New World. I don't know. It's like one of my, one of my favorites. I just hate- I just know you hate furries. I still hate furries. <laughs> I mean, I guess, like, it's- I don't know, man. Like, I don't think- Hate is a strong word, and I try to not hate anything. Or anyone, because it's a bad emotion, and it'll eat you alive. Hate- hate will consume you. But it's just like, I just don't comprehend it. I really don't comprehend it. Sir, that's an animal. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> also, this drawer I actually don't plan to let it be open, so if anything, we really don't need everything that we've got here. We can just do this. Um, edit mesh, bridge. Honestly, wait. Deadass don't need any of this. We just need a fucking cube. Um. <laughs> Arrgh! Nubled judge would strike you down for calling the animals. <laughs> I mean, okay, so... I feel like animal... Animal-human creatures... Is one thing like an animal with an a, a human with animal features, but I'm scared to Google furries. Um, okay, is this way? Let me just make sure everything is safe for the fucking internet before I show this on stream. I hate. I hate. The oh no, no! Watch it. Why did I Google this? Like this? I'm sorry. This? Seek help. Genuinely seek help. This seek help. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, seek therapy. <laughs> what? Okay, we're closing this. I hate that this is on the stream. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> I don't get it. I am generally, I think, a pretty patient person and accepting. Listen, I'm not the- I'm not- I mean, I'm- I'm a little judgy, but like, I'm not like- How do I say this? I mean, I'm- I'm definitely judgy, like, cause- In- in the normal sense, I guess? But I- I'll disagree with you, and- but very rarely will, like, my disagreement, like, reflect on how I feel about you, but I'm sorry, if you're a furry, I truly just, like- I really just have no words for you, I truly don't. Like, I'm sorry, but I just- I, I'm- I'm speechless. My eyes, mine too, bro. Actually, why am I softening it? It's literally just like, fit it in here. Oh, we're at the start of the playlist again. That was really short. Yeah, it was only- it was not even 40 minutes. Oh wait, let me drop a like real quick on that. Let me just drop a like on that video real quick, because we did listen the whole thing. It was nice.
Ooh, this is a Pixar jazz. Okay. Oh yeah. Banger songs. And I, I don't want to say bit banger because they're not like loud. Or I guess this not banger. It doesn't need to be a banger. Like it doesn't need to be like a loud, upbeat to be a banger. It can just be anything good. What's next? <clears throat> Le festi. <laughs> It's wild to think that, like, I think animation is such, like, a uh, CG 3D animation. Like, CGI is such a... Um, uh, short-lived is not the right word. It's, like, such a recent field, right? Like, it's... Like, the first fully computer-animated film was Toy Story, and that was still only uh, within the last 30 years, right? And it's just like, Pixar as a company is so new, but it's kind of wild to just think like, you know, they don't make- <sighs> Pixar movies just aren't Pixar movies like they used to be, you know? And it's kind of disappointing, because don't think anyone would argue when you say something like, uh... Wait, this is super Like, I don't think anyone would argue if, if you were to say like, Stuff like, um, you know, Ratatouille, or like Wally, -E, Up, Finding Nemo, all those Pixar movies from the, um, like early thousands. It's like, like, they're gonna forever be some of the best, I think, animated films of all time. And like, I don't think any, like, that's gonna be like timeless, I think. Doesn't matter how far in the future we are. And like, I've seen recent Pixar films. They're still nice. I think I still enjoy them more than the average, like, Disney film. But it's just kind of like... It just feels like Pixar films don't really, like... Kind of lost a little bit of that, like creative emotional core behind some of them, like the human core behind a lot of them. Like, actually, let's take a look at the Pixar films. Uh, is there a way to have it organized by here? Okay. Like, let's see. So, okay, the only one of all of this I haven't seen is Elemental. So I've seen all of these other films. Um, I personally really liked Brave, but I can understand why it's not everyone's favorite cup thing. But like, kind of like, I don't know, like personally I feel like the last Pixar movie that I just like really, really feel like I enjoyed like so deeply and felt more, I don't know, I think like in my mind what makes a Pixar film is like, it's an ab a lot of them are abstractions of like very human relatable problems. Um, and it's interesting because I feel like Disney films these days are like Disney Disney versus Pixar like Because right now, you know, it's Disney's Pixar whatever, but like I feel like Like Disney films these days are starting to actually a little bit move a little more towards that like more towards the humanistic uh, Realistic problem They're not like fucking basically retellings of Grimm Brothers fairy tales anymore But I think the last, like, Pixar film I really felt I enjoyed, like, super deeply and felt Pixar-flavored was Coco, honestly. Like, I really don't like how Pixar now has a lot more human, like, actual human protagonists. Which is, like, I, yeah, I just really don't enjoy that, to be honest. Like, look at all their early films. Like, I mean, the toys, I guess, are human-like, but it's still, like, toys, so it's, like... The, the, the intrinsic perspective is different. Even if, like, their toys, like, modeled after humans, well, they're still smaller, for example, so they're gonna face problems a different, way, a different way, you know? Like, they're materially made differently, too. There's an ant, there's literal monsters, 
There's a fucking fish. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> Where's my fucking son? Uh, okay, this one's human. Cars. And cars is... I like the first cars. Definitely not the best, but... Ratatouille, it's a rat, it's a robot, real, like, okay, actual human story, cars, humans, uh, humanoid abstract, uh, humanoid representations of ab, uh, abstract concepts, but, like, you see this, it's like, okay, this is humanoid, but human, human characters, human-ish characters, human, ca uh, human character, human character, humanoid, Human. Okay, toys again. <laughs> An unforgettable journey she probably won't remember. Oh no. <laughs> That's funny. But it's just... I really don't know. I really don't know. Because, like, I am no, uh... I'm no narrative expert either. Obviously, like these are, this is Pixar. <laughs> everyone there, everyone uh, working there is probably like way more intelligent, talented than I am. <laughs> they're the ones like, you know, they're the ones that are actually making these movies getting put out. So like, what do I know? But as a matter of like personal taste, I miss like more older Pixar film style. Anyways, I don't know why I just went on a Pixar, like, rant for, like, ten minutes. <laughs> kind of pointless. Now I just wanna, I mean, I own a lot of Pixar films actually on DVD, uh, but I don't have them with me, and I don't have a DVD player in my apartment right now, but it would be real nice to just go and binge some Pixar movies now. Which one's your fave? Oh, I got a second to think about that, honestly. What about you, Elle? Oh, mine is... Da, 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 da. Oh no, you're gonna leave me hanging forever? Oh no, have I been pranked? How does it feel? What? When have I done this? I'm thinking about mine. Okay, okay, okay. Let me think very deeply. Actually, let's open up that list again. I used to be able to name all the Pixar films as well, like in order by year, but 
I mean, I've heard that... Okay, not related, but I, um... I've heard that Elemental was pretty good. I heard that people liked it. Oof. <laughs> um... Let me think. I like Kung Fu Panda. That's DreamWorks. Yeah, yeah, DreamWorks. Let's see. My favorite, uh... I mean, I really liked Coco. I truly, really liked it. I feel like it's up there for my favorite, which is like, shot. Like, I mean, it's one of the modern ones, you know. Um, I kind of just okay. I like Coco. I like Coco a lot because I like definitely. I feel like it's something that a lot of. Sure, it's some a story a lot of people could relate to, like kind of conflict of interest, like with what your family wants for you versus what you want. I also really liked Inside Out. Then I guess it's Toy Story and Nemo. Ooh, okay, okay. I really like Nemo. Probably none of the newer ones. I haven't really watched in a long time. That's fair. I mean, honestly, like of all, if you're looking at the list, which one's the last one you watched? Because I okay, Coco I think was like pretty. It's fairly recent, like what 2014 maybe. 2016? They don't put the fucking year, okay. 2017, okay. Wow, I said, okay, I think I said 16 then, no, I said 14 then 16. Um, and I think Inside Out was a little earlier, right? 2015. I really like, I really like Inside Out. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I would draw the line here. Like, here. Up is kind of when... I feel like Toy Story 3 is when modern to Pixar begins. Or like, what I would define as modern era Pixar, and then up pr up and everything before is like... More, I think, old school Pixar. Can't really remember for Pixar. I never did watch Dory. I was gonna watch Dory, but never did. Can't really remember for Pixar. I think DreamWorks more. Oh, I think Shrek is it. Yeah, Shrek is P DreamWorks. It's not Pixar. Um... I really like, um, I mean, everyone likes Ratatouille. I really like Wally. -E. It has like, I mean, it has like a really nice balance of like, I mean, all, I think all Pixar films, the thing is, they all always tackle like a really big modern societal issue. Um, societal is not the right word, but like all Pixar films tackle like serious issues but in like a digestible way. That's what I really like about Pixar films. They're very approachable for anyone. So they can they can deal with heavy subject matter like in Up. It's like loss of a loved one. Uh, sorry, I'm having a stroke. Um, but yeah, in, in uh, uh, Up, it's like... Um, Loss of a loved one, like Nemo, it's like letting go. Uh, oh my god, wait, we need the, this list again. I literally was just looking at it and I can't remember these films. Rat uh, Ratatouille is about like embracing difference to some extent. Like, obviously, there's all these films are about many things, I'm just kind of skimming over it, okay? Uh, like, Wally's about environmental awareness. But I think what makes things, what makes a lot of these films like feel so enjoyable, like what made them so great is that they handle these topics in a digestible way that anyone can, can watch. And like a lot of these problems are pretty relatable, right? A lot of the problems portrayed in the film, in all of these films. Whereas, like, you know, older style Disney films, I'm just like, cool, well, I'm not a princess that, like, like, I don't even know, like, I'm not a princess whose only problem is that, like, uh, I'm in, I'm, I'm in love with a guy of a different species, <laughs> you know? I always felt like like a 
Disney princess problems are a lot, like, I don't want to say un unattainable, but like, un like, unrelatable, undigestible. Because I'm like, I'm, I'm never ha I've never had this experience, and I don't think I'm ever gonna have this experience. Like, I really hope I am never someone who's been kidnapped and is locked in a tower for the rest of my life. Or like, I really hope that I am, like... I really never hope that I am, like, about to be married off at 16 because my dad is a king or something. I don't know. Because, <laughs> like, these are also all, like, like a lot of Pixar or Disney films are really just, like, retellings of, like, fables. And Grim, um, Grimm Brothers fairy tales, stuff like that. So, but whereas, like, Pixar had, like, a little bit more original story to a lot of them, like the earlier ones. I mean, even now, Pixar... Pixar stories are definitely always the least original, but I I think they've lost some of some some kind of some core to them somehow. I also think from like a, a tech uh, art innovation perspective, like Pixar was in, like I don't know I. Hard to say nowadays, but like Pixar in like the early like early thousands, I think really drove a lot of like technical animation innovation. Because I remember reading that like with every Pixar film, they also like some they they try with they try to tackle I think like a technical issue, like something that's really difficult to do from like a CG perspective, and they're like we go and try this shit, um, basically, and like so. Uh, sorry, I got distracted for a second. Um, so like for Nemo, for example, it was like they 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 had to handle how to do like underwater re uh, refraction. I think that's the word. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um. But yeah, like, and then so, like, for for Brave, or sorry, sorry. Well, it's it's for Brave, but also specifically for Monsters Inc. For Brave, they had to figure out like how to basically handle her curls. Um, for Monsters Inc., they had to figure out like the physics and animation for like stuff like Sully's um, fur hair. I don't even know. Um, Movies nowadays suck. I think movies suck nowadays. I kind of agree that I don't... I don't enjoy... I don't know if it's movies suck or I've kind of lost my interest in cin cinema because I really don't watch and have the des strong desire to watch as many movies as I used to. I feel like I've seen more movies just this year than I have in the last like five years combined and I've gone to the cinema three times. <clears throat> I recently watched Breaking Bad. Do you know the show? I do. I don't. Ha I haven't watched all of it, but I did watch episode one and episode one, like the the pilot. Is, it's a banger. I just like think that like those kinds of like is drama the right category is usually not my thing. And Breaking Bad's kind of long, so. But I don't know. I do want to we'll get through it one day because it is. I I know it's a great show. Brave might have been the last one I watched. I really like Brave. I know that it's like a not a common favorite for uh, Pixar, but I really liked it. Probably also because like, uh, you know, I could understand, again, <laughs> not the arranged marriage part, but like, uh, conflict between like, it's a family conflict, right? Like what your parents want for you and what you want for your life. <clears throat> Very relatable, I think, to a lot of people. How to Train Your Dragon is not Pixar, it's DreamWorks. I'm sensing- I'm sensing- Sorry, I don't know why this had like a weird southern accent for a second there. I'm sensing a pattern, L. I, it, it does indeed seem like, uh, you enjoy a lot of DreamWorks. Which- Uh, I'm having a stroke. Which, I also really like DreamWorks. 
I think like the thing about DreamWorks is like it's really all their films are really like fun and like don't take themselves too seriously, you know? Like I tend to have a not there's a lot of Disney movies that I tend to not enjoy because like they feel like they got the DC effect going on, you know, where they're trying really hard to make a great superhero film. But then like DreamWorks feels like more Marvel approach to me where they're just like, fuck it, we have fun. And because they have fun like making a, a, a silly, goofy, lighthearted movie, like, well, I don't want to say li lighthearted per se, but like, I, I always just kind of felt like Marvel films like tend to take themselves a little less seriously, and because of that, they're a little more enjoyable. Like DC, I think sometimes goes like goes too much edge lord grungy, and I'm just like, nah, you really don't gotta do this. This is not what life looks like. I arranged marriage to an old Asian tradition too. <laughs> yeah. I watched The Ring yesterday for nostalgia and was surprised to see the DreamWorks logo. Wait, what? The Ring is owned by DreamWorks? Like the horror film? I didn't know that. That's kind of funny, actually. I'm not gonna lie. What is this? What even is this song? Maybe it's from Soul, okay. Because I don't recognize it. All these other songs... I think I know what they are. Like this? Like all these other songs I do know what they are. Oh. Maybe this is... Okay, it's not. I was about to say, it could be if I didn't have you, but I don't think so. The only sequels seem to be Paramount. The horror movie, the only the original is... Ah! Interesting. BRB? Right, or could be safe. I don't know why that's my, like, instinct. But I always tell people to be safe when they have to go somewhere. <laughs> song so much. La vie en rose. I don't know how to pronounce it because I am not French and I've never learned French. I've never had any French friends so I do not know in the slightest how to pronounce the name of the song. I'm looking at the leg actually kind of looks like this piano leg. Nice, I can just use this. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> just uh, not with the metal base.
You know what I would just really want to do sometime soon? I would like just love to go to like a little jazz, like jazz bar, again like soft jazz. Not like swing, right? That's, is that the name of like kind of the more like loud percussion kind of bass jazz? I think. Whereas like, I again I'm not a very musical I like music, but I'm not the most musically competent in terms of like terminology and stuff, but like this feels more piano led. And like bass, not as much like drums and like saxophone trumpet, um winds led. You said you've been to the cinema four times this year. For what movies? Uh, I saw Barbie, which I really liked. I saw Oppenheimer, which I liked, but I fell asleep during. It's three fucking hours. Well, to be fair, also, I, I saw Oppenheimer and Barbie back to back with, with um, friends. And we saw Barbie first, so by uh, Oppenheimer, I was a little tired. We all were. We all admitted we fell asleep for a little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> Little Mermaid. No, I didn't see Little Mermaid. Um, I saw... Oh, actually, wait, no, I didn't see this in theaters. Damn. Um, right, because I watched it with a friend who owns it now. Um, I, I uh, saw Spider-Verse. Okay, so I guess I've only been to the cinema twice this year. <laughs> Have you seen any of those films, L? <clears throat> Not gonna lie, Barbie looks stupid. What little of it I saw? Really? Damn. I feel like I really enjoyed it because it was like, well, I guess like, I can understand actually why you like, I, I kind of understand the evaluation of stupid because like, I enjoyed it a lot because it's kind of one of those movies that doesn't take it like it like like I said about like DreamWorks it doesn't really take itself too seriously like that whole like like Ryan Gosling's whole like like narrative 
It's just like so ridiculous and it's so funny. Like I just think it's it's just so silly. And how he's just like, I'm just Ken, and it's like, yeah, bro, you really are just Ken. Live with it. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's 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 enough. He's enough, but. I kind of also enjoyed that, like, I don't know, um, I'm having, it's a little foggy in my memory now, because, wait, right, I saw it a few months ago. But another thing I would say I really enjoyed about it is that, like, yes, it acknowledges a lot of these really difficult problems we have, especially, like, for women in our society, and it doesn't try too hard, honestly, to fix them. Like... Um, because I think, like, that could have- that could be a bit of a criticism of the film, too. It's like, yeah, like, the- the- the woman- I forget her name- the mom, but the one- like, America Ferreira plays her, it's like, yeah, she has this whole, like, monologue about how, like, it's really fucking hard to be a woman in today's society, and, like, doesn't really put forward any solutions. She just has an angry pop-off rant, and I'm like, but that's kind of life, you know? I only saw John Wick 4. I heard John Wick 4 was good. Um, I have a friend who saw it, and he really liked it. Good old Keanu Reeves. Um, I've actually never actually seen any uh, John Wick films because, like, they're generally just not like my cup of tea. But I mean, I am I am indeed a Keanu Reeves fan, though. I don't, I don't honestly like have not seen much of his work, but he just seems like a like a a, a, a cool guy. He just kind of seemed like a chill bro, honestly. I'm like, you know, I vibe with the chill bros, especially when you're in Hollywood. I mean, I don't know him personally. He might have, like, no chill at all, and that would be very not cool of him. Um, but, like, at least even even famous, like, movie stars that have enough chillness to appear chill in front of the media, I'm like, that's good enough, you know? Or not... It's like, it's, it's a good enough for me, like, as a person who doesn't know this person. <laughs> Some people, you know, they have no chill in front of media. Who knows, though? Maybe they're chill, you know, this is it's true. They're probably also playing a character, like the people who have no chill. Anyways, um... We can get past the plot armor, yeah. I really like Saw movies. I think I saw the first one. Because there's like four, right? Tobin Bell? So, wait, who's that? Also, hey gamer, hey Kevin, how's it going? Oh, I know this person. Okay, okay. Wait, there's a, a lot of Saw films. I did not know that there's many. Ooh, okay. I really don't think I should be looking at this, like, so close to bedtime, because I get scared easily. Uh <laughs> The new one in theaters now saw X. That's t there are ten. Okay, I guess I s I think I might have actually seen the first four then, if I'm not mistaken. I think four is the last one I watched.
like this chair like at all. I want to actually redo it to a very different type of chair. I was going to ask something and then my brain just dropped off. Uh... Oh, Kevin, because we're talking about films right now. Have you seen any, any fun movies this year? I feel like... I definitely feel like movies these days suck more than like... Like, are, really just are not that great these days. But I will say I think that this year cinema has been a little better. Because, I mean, I've... Like... It, I always just, you know, find it, it's rare to motivate me enough to go to a movie theater because, like, I don't love watching movies in theaters. Like, it's nice to see it on big screen and stuff, but, like, I like watching stuff with subtitles, for example, because I, I tend to have a hard time understanding what people are saying sometimes. So, like, I like to have subtitles, I like to rewind and watch again, yada yada, but, like, so, like, wanting to go to a cinema, I really must want to see something on the big screen for some reason, so... Sup, Arslan Hyardin V. How was Spider-Verse? I really like Spider-Verse. It's so good. I love Spider-Verse. Yes. However, that is not a film I would have been able to watch in theaters. Well, I mean, I wanted to because I wanted to see it on the big screen with, like, the graphics and everything. But holy shit, I could not understand half of that film. My English comprehension went out the window. If only we could turn on those on in theaters. I mean, there are some films, I think, that, like, um... I mean, I think you have to go to a special theater a lot of the time. But I have been... I feel like I've been to a movie theater before where they did, like, have, um, captions on. But yeah, if you're like me and, like, you're, like... I have really good hearing. I have terrible comprehension. Like, I can hear... A cell phone ring from across the street, like a like a like across a busy ass street with cars and honking. Like I can hear stuff really well. I don't fucking know what people are saying to me though. Me too with the subs. I tend to be hearing impaired when it comes to watching movies. Yeah, like I just don't know. Like, cause I think um, I like Oppenheimer. I had like. I think that one reason I fell asleep during Oppenheimer too is because I really didn't know what they were saying. Oppenheimer, I understood less than a third of the dialogue, I think. Like half, I almost said half, but I'm like, that's being generous. I could only understand, the only character I could understand fully with no problem at all was fucking Matt Damon. Because like everyone else tended to mumble, you know, like not open their mouth. When talking? It's hard to understand in theaters often. Which is weird. I mean, I guess it makes sense because, like, you know, speakers always get dodgy. It's always a little easier if you can just, like, put headphones in, for example. But I want to watch Squid Game 2. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. And, uh, I, I can just blissfully read my subtitles. Oh my god, it's Remember Me. Oh, I'm hearing it now. Oh no. Also, Arslan, um, we're, we are on, we're, we're talking about uh, films in general right now, but have you seen any, have you been, have you seen any movies this year? Or, we were also, uh, I also went into a big long rant about Pixar that I think nobody gave a shit about earlier, but I am a narcissist and just wanted to share my opinion. <laughs> like, do you have a favorite? Arslan and Kevin as well. Do you guys have pick favorite Pixar films? For no captions, otherwise I end up reading the whole time. I mean, I kind of like that, but like, I, I yeah, I, I know for sure. Like, it's like something. I remember actually, my friend was talking about how she wanted to go see Spider Verse in theaters, and I literally told her that I'm like, I generally have a hard time um, understanding what people are 
I sometimes have a hard time understanding what people are saying, so I like watching like stuff with subtitles. But then she also made a good point that like, you know, me too. But like, I want to watch Spider Verse in theaters without subtitles, so I can just fully soak in on the graphics. And I'm like, huh, never really quite thought about that honestly. Because when you're someone who has like as awful li li listening listening comprehension as me, sometimes I'm just like, please give me the subtitles. I want to participate. <laughs> Incredibles. I would love to wear headphones in a theater. That'd be sick. Silent movie. <laughs> silent. It's like silent rave, you know, but... Wait, silent movies are a thing, bro. I rewind if I don't understand something at home. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Like, I have subtitles on, and then I... I kind of do both, honestly. <laughs> but, yes, Incredibles is such a good film, too. I also actually kind of enjoyed... Um, did you see Incredibles 2, Kevin? I didn't love it, but I did like it a lot more than like Finding Dory. I did not like Finding Dory, like, at all. I really did not enjoy that film. But, like, I kind of enjoyed Incredibles. It was like fun, you know? And it had some... I mean, it, it like utilized a, a pretty nice trope in the like... Make, make room for the kids, you know, the new generation, which I thought was kind of nice and fun. And then, you know, Mr. Incredible has to, had to learn that, you know, he's not, like, I'm just like, ah, yes, men getting what they deserve. <laughs> I liked Incredibles too. never saw Dory. Mm-hmm. I would honestly say just Dory is really not worth watching. Like, it, it it just felt like a big old carbon copy of Finding Nemo, which is hilarious. Cause like they made a sequel for a film by remaking the film. That's what it felt like. Uh, and yeah, Incredibles was Pixar. Okay, let's put on another Pixar jazz one. Let's see what is this one gonna have? Oh, this is the exact same thing, okay. I mean, I'm fine with this one looping. Oh, fuck! Okay, I hit back by accident, but it's fine. <laughs> you really liked that. I also did really like that elf. <laughs> I don't want to be like that one person that's like, they just don't make fil Pixar films like they used to, but like, they really don't. Like, ever since Pixar was bought by, like, Disney, which I think was like, what, 2005? Um, Pix- wait, okay, so Pixar films listed by year, and then what year did Disney buy Pixar? So, okay, 2006. And then, like, you can kind of see the pattern where, like, Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, like, dude, I asked for a list. Okay, in order of release, like a lot of their like, like best films, right? Like Toy Story. Uh, I think Monsters Inc. was okay. It was like, well, it's, it's a, I liked it. It's a little more of the oddball in terms of comparing it to like Nemo, Incredibles, Ratatouille, Wally Up, but um, like. Um, so Toy Story's great, like, Nemo's amazing, Incredibles is amazing, so, like, in the first, like, here, like, these years, like, okay, so this is, I mean, Ratatouille came out in 2007, but it was, like, fully, uh, honestly, like, Ratatouille, Wally, Up, these three films were probably done on it, like, or, like, not done, but, um, Actually, 2009 is a bit of a stretch, but like, Ratatouille was most definitely done by the time that, like, if they acquired, if Disney acquired Pixar in 2006, because, right, release dates, shit, um, but like, 
of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight films that like Disney probably had no say in whatsoever, like in terms of like no creative stakes in it at all, or no creative input on it, like yeah, one, two, three, four, or four are like kind of regarded as like some of the best Pixar films there are, and I like argue that I think they're just like like I said earlier, they're just like top tier animated films for the rest of time. Like that's always gonna stay like that. Um, and then, like, ever since then, I'm gonna call, like, Wally and Up, I really don't know how much creative say Disney might have had in those films. It's really hard to say. But, like, basically since that, like, Toy Story 3 was really good, of course. But Cars, Brave, like, I liked it, but I don't think it's the best, either. Like, of all these films, like, it's really Coco and, uh, Inside Out that are, like, the really well, well-doing Pixar films, but everything else is kind of just, like, going downhill. <sighs> Toy Story was what I grew up with, so it's the most memorable one. Also, no coincidence, they made so many sequels for it. Yeah. It's... Oh, man. I really... I was so disappointed. I was so, 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 so disappointed in Pixar. And I'm just like, yeah, I mean, they don't give a fuck that I'm disappointed in them. Because they're rolling in millions, and I'm just a random person. So... Like, <laughs> I can say this all I want, and it makes no difference, but, like, I'm just so upset that they made Toy Story 4, because Toy Story 3 had such a perfect ending. Like, they were all together, and, like, what do you learn to, like, go, and, like, why couldn't we just leave it at that? <laughs> But they wanted dish monies. I I'd say I stopped liking after Cars exactly when Disney acquired. Mm -hmm. I think I watched Luca, but it was whatever. I did not like Luca. I didn't. I just did not understand the conflict. To be completely honest, like, like the thing is, so it's a it's kind of a little bit about like part of the main main conflict of that film is like him being in conflict with, like, his parents, you know, it's very, um, it's very Little Mermaid-ish style conflict where, like, um, excuse me, sorry, that was a nasty burp, like, he's curious about the, the surface world, and, I mean, it's classic classic, like, stereotyping, and, like, his parents are like, yeah, no, the humans are dangerous, don't go up there. But the thing is, like, I felt that, like, it's weird, because the central conflict was specifically about him and his parents, but his parents were, like, not involved. Um, like, it's also pretty similar to, for, uh, I mean, familial conflict is something that's explored a lot in Pixar films, for sure. And, like, it made me think a little bit about, like, Brave, too, where it's, like, okay. Like, it's it felt like Brave to some extent. It felt like Coco to some extent, right? Conflict with parents. Um, conflict with family interests. Interest, conflict with personal interests. But, like, if, for example, in Brave, she does spend the whole movie with her mom. Like, the, like, them bridging their relationship is explored as they spend time together. Like, as the bear trying to get her mom back to being human. And, like, um, same with, like, Coco. He, he spends pretty much the entire film with his family. But, like, in Luca, his parents were, like, so non-relevant. I didn't like Cars. I thought it was pretty lame. Cars? Yeah. I mean, it's one of the less good performing films from that era, too. Like, I liked the first one just, like for fact of like, you know, I'm gonna be stubborn about it and I'll be like, I like the early Pixar films, but definitely not one of their better films. <laughs> Undeniably, for sure. It's just such a shame, because like, I would say over time I've grown to like Disney more. For the same reason that I mentioned earlier, where, like, I think that they're, like, moving a little bit more towards, like, original storytelling and, like, um, human-relatable story, like, 
stories and away from, you know, princesses and fairy tales. But I've really come to like Pixar less and less as time goes on. And it's it's a shame because Pixar films like really just used to be so good, man. I mean, I, I'm also, like, fairly certain I'm not the only person that kind of feels this way about, like, modern Pixar. But then again, you know, none of us work for Pixar. None of us are the people, like, rolling in millions but making these films. And it's personal taste, you know. I think I've stopped liking Disney after the early original Lion King. Earlier than I stopped liking Pixar. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, I don't... I feel like... I mean, in retrospect, like, I know, like, the film Encanto did really well. I, I didn't watch it myself, but, like, it does at least... I Like, I like that Disney's diversifying a little bit. I really liked Moana. I think that's the last Disney film that I watched. That feels not right. Uh, Disney films by release here. Let's see. Hmm. Wait, I'm gonna say Disney animated films, because now I'm getting shit like High School Musical. Um, <laughs> okay, here. Um, I didn't see Elemental. I did Strange World. What's this one? No, I definitely didn't watch it. Lightyear, I did see that one. Okay, Encanto. Uh, yeah, I'm talking, I guess I'm talking strictly Disney as well, not like Pixar. Uh, okay, actually, no, JK, I did see Frozen 2, which was okay. Uh, I did see Ralph Breaks the Internet. I liked it. It was pretty, it was really fun to watch. Um, I thought this was DreamWorks, so I didn't even realize that was Disney. Um, yeah, I saw Moana. And Zootopia, but those are like kind of the more like those are the Disney, I guess, like my most recently watched Disney films. I don't know, I don't really count Frozen 2 because it's like a sequel. I don't know, sequels should count, but I personally, I don't know. I've been pretty unhappy with how they've handled Star Wars. Law movie, the live action. <laughs> yeah, I heard it bombs, didn't it? I didn't watch it. Uh. Kevin, what's your what's your discontent with how they've handled Star Wars? Because I haven't really, I think I okay. I will say I think I've watched a lot of the new and recent Star Wars films, but I honestly didn't really digest them. I kind of just watched them because like I think I was like I was like there in the theater, and I was like cool, <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> like if if I could describe how I felt coming out of the theater, or like I don't think I I think I watched some of them in theaters and then some of them at home. But, like, I think that's what my general viewing experience of the new Star Wars films was. That was nice. I don't like Star Wars. <laughs> Super formulaic, formulaic, very animated. They were just sticks. I mean, yeah, that's the, that's like the problem with like f serialized films and fran like you know franchise films. It's just 
you know, it's like, oh, it's just too easy to milk them with, like, with their formula and stuff like that, right? It's just, it's a, such a shame. Trying to MCU it, same with MCUs these days, but at least MCU has some creative stuff in the, some of the shows. Ow, oh, ow. Ow, 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 what the fuck? Damn, ow, okay. I have a bug bite that, like, totally turned into a big fucking bruise. Uh, anyway, sorry. Um. Yeah, it's it's disappointing, right, that like just there's such little innovation coming from out of these franchises. I mean that's like and then it's it's hard too, right? Because like I think it's like a I mean, uh I know chicken or egg is not like the right way to describe, but it's kind of like a like I mean the fan, like, people who want innovation lose, like, fans who want innovation lose because, like, at this point Disney is also more scared about pissing off the... Like, I mean, it's not to say maybe that they don't even want to have, like, innovation in the, in the series, but it's like, it's... They do run a lot of risks as well of, like, angering the fan base who like pay money to um who pay money to go watch these films cuz some people really do just want to you know turn their brain off type experience and like they want they want the say like some people want to go in knowing that they're going to like knowing what type of experience they're going to get and they'll feel disappointed when that doesn't you know get delivered
I'm gonna redo this, the little base part, because I, I just realized I got the shape, like, very wrong. Inside out again. I just want to go on a Pixar rampage. Ah! <laughs> I genuinely think that um, Inside, like Inside Out is such a good film. I think I would say it's... Oh, I like it a little bit more than I like Coco, I think. I think I just like Coco, like I just... I mean, Coco is a film about music, right? And I just really enjoyed all the music in that, in that movie. Um, Let me think, which film made me cry more? <laughs> That's the real question. They both made me cry more than once. <laughs> are you guys are you guys criers in films? Coconuts and milk. Welcome, welcome to stream. You see. What are we looking at? I tear up. Baldur's Gate made you tear up. I've been watching some friends play it recently, and I'm so tempted to play it myself, too, because it's just so fun watching them play. Cried when Master Sifu died, really? Wait. But he's isn't he alive? Does he actually die? I haven't seen like the, the newer Kung Fu pandas. I saw one and two. You're gonna stream Mulder's Kate. No, I'm not I'm not I'm not planning on it. Let's see, what's a movie that makes me cry the most, though? I mean, I really am not gonna lie. Uh, honestly, I think... Damn, Coco really does make me cry every time, without a doubt. Or, sorry, without fail. Like, uh... I mean, it's it's not a new movie at this point. We're gonna drop some spoilers. Like, um, so yeah, I'm gonna flip the question back at everyone else. Like Z Daily, Kevin, L. What are movies that make you guys cry? Um, yeah, cause uh, Coco makes me cry when um, like. When, when, um, I'm 
having a stroke, I'm sorry. Um, you know, when they... When they're trying to send him back and they're like... Cause, uh, cause his, his... Uh, the guy Hector is dying and they're trying to send him back and he's like, No, 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 no! Uh, the kid, Miguel, is like... Has to run back to his... Uh, grandma, so that she or great grandma, so that she remembers. And then when he's singing the song, and like the very very end when he's actually like getting to uh, play music, that also makes me tear up because I'm like, you got it. Did Squid Game make you cry? No, I didn't cry at Squid Game. Hard for a movie to get me to cry. Too short. TV and games make me cry. What? Okay. Then what? What about what about TV? What's a show that makes you cry? I don't watch movies much. You know what? Solidarity, bro. tear up when animal violence is involved for some reason. I mean, that's a very I think, valid reason to tear up. Like, it's not... I'm assuming, like, animal abuse, right? It's a very triggering and upsetting thing. Maybe... I, I, I understand... I kind of understand what you're saying, though. Like, it's like... It upsets you to see that kind of stuff happen. It's... right? chair that's like tickling the back of my leg. <laughs> Thought it was a spider for a second. I almost always uh around character death for me. Yeah. That's fair. I'm like really digging right now to try and think of like movies like because again I, I just don't watch so many movies these days so I'm even having a hard time recalling like which movies like really got me really emotional I mean I think in general I'm a little bit of a pretty emotional person like it's it's quite easy to like I cry quite easily at like films and stuff um, Like, I recently rewatched the very last, like, a, the last season of The Good Place, just because I love that show, and I, like, it was bawling. And I went back and I watched the episode of Lost, um, when Penny and Desmond find each other again, like, on the phone, and I was like, <laughs> uh, Walking Dead, I think I might have- Oh, yeah! Yes! When Lee dies? Oh my god, that fucking sent me. Oh my gosh, in the start of um, Last of Us, when Sarah dies? Oh my gosh, no. Classic. Amazing game- amazing moments in, like, game narrative that I think, like, pretty much got, like, everyone that, like, it's like pretty much, I feel like you run into anyone who played Last of Us, you run into anyone who played um, Walking Dead, like, they'll they'll say they cried when Lee died, they'll say they cried, or like, I don't want to say cried, because, like, they were uh, distressed when, like, Sarah died, when, and, um, 
when Lee died. couple of tries when I got there. That's the most interesting it made me tell like ten times when I was much younger. I never full cried really. Interesting. I mean, I feel like, because, you know, crying is a very specific phenomenon, and it's like... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Uh, I cried no kami. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Games that I've played that maybe. I'm thinking about it. What about Last of Us 2? When I've actually never played Last of Us 2, but I know that Joel gets fucking chopped real fast. Let's see. I mean, okay, we've definitely played games on stream that like made me cry, cry. Um. Oh yeah, Layers of Fear made me cry because I was scared as fuck. And then it'll stop, 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 stop. Okay, sorry. I accidentally opened one of my playlists as I was looking through like the games I've played. played less games than I thought on stream? I thought I've played so many games on stream. Okay. Um. <laughs> Genshin made you cry. Oh, okay. Yeah, that did, that did make me cry when she's, like, saying goodbye to the other- you know, when she's hugging herself, basically. That's more anger than sorrow. Yeah, wait, this is totally not right, like, cause I played like, like, you know, um, a short hike too. I think this is not, I don't know why, not all my playlists are showing up correctly, that's what's going on. Has anyone else played To the Moon? That I played that a long time ago. That that made me cry. Short hike made me tear up. Love that game. Yeah, the the ending, the phone call. Yeah. I love a short hike so much. I, I really gotta say it's one of my favorites.
Alright, wow, we spent so long redoing this stupid desk and chair set. It's literally already 10, 11. Get me to cry pretty often, also get me more hype than anything else. <laughs> Makes sense. I don't. Hmm. I'm really. I'm actually honestly really banging my head out here trying to figure out, like, in recent memory, like, what game or what movie really made me cry. And it's just like, I don't know, man. This is gonna sound kind of cursed, but like, I cry so often <laughs> and easily that it sometimes can be hard to remember. Because, like, I am, I am a very, I am quite an emotional person. Like, if I see someone else crying, I will start crying with them. Like, I don't know. If someone else is, if I see someone in pain, I'm just like, oh, I feel your pain. <laughs> And then I'll cry. Um, you cried when you lost <laughs> your Splatoon game. True. And then I rage quit Splatoon, JK. Oh, actually, I actually have a funny kind of uh, thing to say about rage quitting recently. Because, um, right, like, a bit of an interesting conversation with a friend of mine. Because I let her borrow my copy of Skyward Sword. And she actually told me recently that she rage quit because she died for the first time um, in her entire playthrough. Kind of, she's near the end. Um, she's quite near the final boss, and then she died for the first time. And she ra it caused her to rage quit. And I was like, damn. I mean, it's impressive. Like, I'm just impressed that like um, you got that far without dying. And then we had this little bit of interesting conversation where like, for me, like, cause she grew up with games, and she's like, I'm usually pretty good at games. And I'm like, I'm usually not. And like, maybe it's like stuff like that, that I have an attitude that I don't like care when I die. Like I just die. I'm like, okay, well that's the norm for me. So I just like get up and keep playing. Whereas like, you know, for people who are maybe a little more used to being quote quote good at video games, like dying can be a pretty like a frustrating experience for them. And I never thought about it that way. You cry when Sonora died? No, I screamed. <laughs> I was mad. Blender lagging. Oh, I forgot to replace the material of uh, this one before exporting, but whatever. Yeah, Blender's like being mad laggy right now. Sooner will come back in a flashback. No, no, no. She's gonna be playable. She's gonna be playable. Trust. And then when she's playable, I'll be like, "Y'all fools thought." And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Whoa. I like turned my head from like left towards like I was looking at my main monitor, right? So I was kind of looking straight slash left-ish because my monitor's tilted and then I went to look right at my second monitor and woo, I just had a very weird um, nauseous sensation. an interview on Friday I'm prepping for. Yo, that's awesome. Congrats, Kevin. Uh, you don't need to answer this, especially not on stream, but uh, if you feel comfortable sharing, whether now or later, like whereabouts at, if I may ask. That is awesome. Congrats. You nervous? In general, like, have you been interviewing a lot lately? Oh shit! Okay. Well, casual, just like, yeah, yeah, right there. But good luck. I don't think I'll get it, but it's good practice. Hey, don't think like that. Go in with a positive attitude. You are gonna get the fucking job. They're actually just gonna give ownership of Rockstar to you.
I don't think I even wrote a cover letter. It's a level design position. I don't really have much work experience in level design. I DK how I got the interview. I don't think I even wrote a cover letter. Interesting. Is it maybe done through a recruiting agency? Or... I mean, that's interesting to hear you say, because I almost... I, I automatically heard, like, that it's at Rockstar, and I just kind of assumed that, like, you might have gotten it through, right? Like, our, our uh, mutual friend, like, that, who works at, like, Rockstar? But... Dude, that's even more Chad, just like casually apply and get interview, because like it's so hard to get an interview without a connection these days, so getting the interview in and of itself is already very poggers. I was recommended, but for a different position, the one I applied to on a whim. Or this one I applied to on a whim. Well, go in positive attitude. Realize kind of the reason it looks so weird is because I the angle was so big it, it really should be a little tighter. Yeah, I think something a little more like this. It's Toy Story, yeah. I love this song. It's such a, it's, I think it's such a good song. Like, there truly are no words to like comprehend, like, for me to describe how good I think this song is. And I think, like, you know, Randy Newman, that's his name, right? He just like, he's like sings it uh, so well with such nice energy that it's like, it's just such a good, feel good song. Wait, why'd I do this? Hold up, why am I doing it like this? I, I should've done a duplicate special. Oops, uh, and here, let's reset the pivot. Now we do it. What?! Hold up. Okay. Oh, is there a trend? There might be a translation applied to it. Uh, yeah, there is. There we go.
Will this work for signing materials? Will the duplicate special... Okay, it looks like it will. Nice. No, it didn't. That's not nice. Hate it, thanks. Because like, it highlights all the phases, I had hoped that maybe I can apply the same uh, material. Oh, ow, oh, my wrist is really starting to not have it. Therefore, it might be time to end the stream soon. Wow, I did not get as much. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> I don't even know what that was. I did not get as much done today as I wanted, but it's fine. Sorry, that sounded a little sarcastic, but I actually genuinely mean it. Like, the art streams, I really just want to move at my own pace. And, like, I mean, I've, I've been doing quite a lot of 3D work these days, like, whether it be Maya, procedurally generating stuff in Blender. I spend a lot of time, like, kind of using my wrist, so it's, uh, I gotta be a little careful, honestly. It's been... <sighs> Excuse me, your wrist has been bothering me again lately, and it's it's not good. Um, like I've been going to school with like carrying an external keyboard and bringing my ergonomic mouse, and like the whole um, the little wrist pad I have for my uh, as well. Like I've been. Like I said, going to school looking like a big fucking clown show. I wish I could speak French. I think it'd be a very useful language to know as well, you know? Wait, are these all separate? Oh, they're separated objects. I thought that they had imported them all at one. All at one? All as one. Interesting. I didn't realize that I had separated them out. I kind of wonder why I did that.
Now you guys hear my wrist crack of that one. <laughs> Multiple objects, the multiple objects I haven't sl uh, selected at once, that's the whole point. I said I nearly hit a stroke trying to spit that sentence out. It's probably gonna be time to end stream soon anyways. Cause like I said, my wrist's getting a little hurty and I haven't been sleeping the best the last couple of days. Like, I've been sleeping fine, it's just a matter of, like, been really busy, so I haven't been able to get to sleep earlier. I'd like to get a little more sleep tonight. So let me manually fix this stupid crate. And I'll probably call it a day. Tired. that I can't assign multiple at once? Like, that's a little weird, IMO. I bet you can, I'm just not doing it right. Actually, something I really don't like about this is how tall it is. Like, I kind of want to do more like that. But you know what? Let's not actually touch that from right now. It's not... Like, I'm tired and kind of want to end stream, so... Wow, the Blathers home is really taking so long to come together, but it's coming nonetheless, so... Anyways, thanks everyone for coming by! Uh next stream. Have a good night. Thanks, Kevin. You too. And good luck with your interview on Friday. I believe in you. You got this. Um, but yeah. Uh, the next stream is gonna be um, I think Sunday? Yeah. Sunday's probably gonna work a little better for me this week. And you can hear me filling up my water again. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thanks again, everyone. Have a good rest of your weeks. And I will see you all on, I just realized this piano is like disproportionately small. Like, look at how big the dinner table is. We must make this. This is simply unacceptable. We gotta make it bigger, like now. Um. Anyways, yeah. I will see you all on the weekend. Bye bye!